hello friends welcome to my channel sql server log so today we are going to uh, see about database snapshots in sql server so we will see how to create database snapshots and uh, i will tell you before that uh, i will tell you uh, about what is database snapshot okay so basically in sql server a database snapshot is a read only static view of database at a specific point in time it's a feature that allows you to create a copy of database but unlike traditional database copies it doesn't consume a significant amount of disk space instead it uses a copy on write mechanism to store changes made to the source database after the snapshot is created so here are some key points about database snapshots in sql server okay so key points we will discuss it number one read only so database snapshots are read only meaning that you can't write data to them they are primarily used for reporting data analysis and point in time recovery purposes number two space efficiency database snapshots initially consume very little disk space because they only store pages that have been modified since the snapshot was created as changes occur in the source database these modified pages are copied to the snapshot this copy on write mechanism ensures that the snapshot remains space efficient okay so number three point in time recovery database snapshots are useful for recovering data to a specific point in time you can create a snapshot before making significant changes to your database and if something goes wrong you can revert to the snapshots state so uh, this is point in time recovery number four limited to the same server okay so database snapshots are only available on the same sql server instance where the source database exists you cannot use them to create a copy of a database on different server number five multiple snapshots you can create multiple snapshots of a single source database each at a different point in time however keep in mind that each snapshot consumes some disk space okay next point is performance consideration while database snapshots have low initial overhead in terms of disk space they can impact performance if you have many snapshots or if the source database undergoes significant changes therefore it's essential to monitor and manage snapshots carefully so uh, these six points were key points about database snapshots so i will show you how to create database snapshots let's move to our uh, ssms so in ssms by gi you cannot uh, create a snapshot of database you have to do it by writing queries only okay so it is basically the same as create database the syntax is create database database name okay so i have taken a database name as adventureworks2022 underscore snap so this new database is a snapshot of actual adventurework2022 database so create database database name on name equal to adventure works 2022 so basically this is the this name is uh, the logical name of the actual database i will show you so you have to write proper logical name of a data file uh, for example i have taken uh, here i am uh, taking snapshot of this database so i will just right click on it go to properties now go to files and this logical name okay just expand it so this is data file this is log file so you need to write a logical name of data file adventure work 2022 okay so name equal to this one your logical name of data file now file name equals to now you are creating a snapshot on this path okay so i'm creating here data ms sql sql snapshot and the name of the snapshot is 
एडवेंचर वर्क टू ओके स्नैपशॉट एज ए स्नैपशॉट ऑफ एडवेंचर वर्क टू सो दिस इज स्नैपशॉट ऑफ दिस डेटा so we will just execute this query commands completed successfully now i will show you database snapshot we have here adventure work 2022 snap this one the database which is created and you can see read only so this database snapshot is read only now if you'll expand it okay so you will get all the tables all the views all the procedures functions everything of this database okay now so for example click on tables so i'll get list of tables for example this aw build version database log error log etc department employee now we will see actual database we'll compare with actual database tables now you can see this one this one this one department employee okay employee department history so everything is same same views you can see views views of a snapshot database and views of actual database of which we have created snapshot human resource dot v employee okay first one human resources dot v employee views are same okay so similarly you have procedures other objects we so this snapshot has created exactly the copy of adventure works 2022 database now we will go and see this file on this location this one dms sql sql snapshot so this is the same database snapshot which we have created okay now i will show you how much is the size of actual database and what is the size of snapshot database so right click on it go to properties okay and you can see size is 272 mb of adventure works 2022 database now this is snapshot we will see right click go to properties and you can see size size is 272 mb so basically it is consuming equal size of this actual database so similarly you can create uh, this uh, snapshot for read only purpose as i have earlier mentioned why uh, we use uh, uh, sql uh, this database snapshot now database snapshot are available tool for database administrators and developers to maintain data integrity support reporting needs and facilitate point in time recovery without the need for full database backups so i hope you will like this video and your concept is clear thank you for watching this video